Again, it's Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit here on MAV TV from the Hercules Tire Studios in Concord, North Carolina. It's Wing Nation talking sprint car racing, and we are so glad that you have joined us. And us, well, it's kind of weird. I'm in the Hercules Tire Studio, but Ashley Strummy joins us. Ashley, that looks like a speed palace in your background. Are you kidding me? You know it. I was in town for the Weikert Memorial. I wouldn't miss it. I uh, love the Weikerts and, of course, the Speed Palace, Port Royal Speedway, uh, my home track. So it's great to be back home. Well, you're just showing off now is what you're doing. <laughs> That's what you're doing right there. I see you. I see how you are. Um, the Weikert Memorial, Pennsylvania, the Outlaws. The, the Outlaws were in town. They were not racing. The All-Stars, the Posse. Man, you, you had a plateful up there for sure. Absolutely. It was absolutely incredible weekend. Um, like you said, obviously, Car Kyle Larson, what we're watching him do right now in the sprint car world is dominating, to say the least. Um, and to see it partake here with some of the best in the business was by none the best weekend ever. Yeah, amazing. It really is. We're going to talk with Kyle Larson here today on the program. He's going to zoom into our conversation and we'll talk about those wins in conquering Pennsylvania, which has been a big challenge for him. Like you, I was at the sprint car track, USCS. My 360 friends were here in Pennsylvania, Carolina Speedway on Friday night, East Lincoln Speedway on Saturday. Ashley, I, there's nothing better than being at the racetrack with friends. You did it this weekend. I did it this weekend. I am telling you what, I think I respect and appreciate it more this year, maybe than ever in my life before. Yes, there's no doubt about it. We are very blessed when we get to go to the racetrack. We can sit there and watch on flow racing or dirt vision or whatever it may be, but there's nothing like actually being at the track. True that, as the kids say these days. That is for sure. Speaking of the Speed Palace, let's check this out, okay? It is Kyle Larson, it's Brent Marks, Logan Wagner getting his nose in the middle of it. It's the Ollie's Bargain Outlet All-Star Circuit of Champions, the Weikert Memorial at Port Royal, Earl Hoon and Blake Anderson with the call. It's our Dry Dean Diesel all deftifying move of the week. And now for the Dry Dean deftifying move of the week, where one driver simply amazes us with their on-track moves. Larson goes high and bounces off the wall. That's going to cost him just a little bit. He'll mount a charge of Brett Marks down the front stretch. Brett Marks has got company. Larson to the lead. No, it's Brent's fight. Marks by James Bond, point double oh seven. Larson to the lead at turn number two. And there's Logan Wagner right there. Down the back stretch. They're wing to wing for the top spot. Brent Marks to the inside of Kyle Larson in a lap car right in front of him. Sweet meat pie. It doesn't get any better than this. Side by side off a of four. Kyle Larson. He's going to lead lap number 20. Ten more laps to go. That definitely defying move was brought to you by Dry Dean Diesel All Deaf, the official deaf of the world of outlaws and wheelmen everywhere. Visit drydean.com for more information. Hey Ashley, what are you up to? Oh, I just stopped by to grab some sage fruit apples. Now I just have to decide which ones. You can never go wrong with a Honeycrisp. They're light, crisp, and full of perfectly balanced flavor. Oh, hey. You could always go with one of their classics, the Gala or Fuji. They're both sweet and juicy. Grown in the heart of Eastern Washington, Sage Fruit Company works hard on the farm and with their retail partners to provide high quality apples and pears to consumers all year long. Well, I couldn't decide which ones. Thanks for the help, guys. I'll race you to the checkout. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation, presented by Sage Drew here on MAV TV. Joining us on the Hercules Tire Zoom line is, well, the man we're all talking about in sprint car racing. Kyle Larson joins us. Hey, Kyle, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Uh, still here in Port Royal, doing some, doing some laundry before I head out of town. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So this is, so we're catching you in the glamour portion of your week on a golf cart outside of a laundromat, really? <laughs> yeah. Kaylin's been doing most of the laundry uh, since we've been gone from home, but she was still in bed. So I decided that I wanted to get up and get moving and, and get uh, get some stuff done. Nice. Well, Kyle, I know this is a change of pace for you. And, you know, sprint car fans are absolutely loving it. And being on the road, I got to chat with Caitlin and Devin and the whole gang yesterday. Um, and they talked about how good of a cook you've actually become as well. I heard you got a pretty mean burger. <laughs> I guess. I I don't know. Uh, 
no, I, I don't feel like I'm a good griller. I, I'm, I get, to, that's about the only time I get stressed out right now is uh, standing at the grill. But uh, no, I, I've made some burgers here lately and they've gotten better and better. But uh, no, it's been cool. It's uh, ever since, ever since quarantine started happening a few months ago, I was like, well, this might be a good time to start getting on the grill and seeing what I can learn. But uh, no, it's been fun. And, and uh, I haven't messed too many things up yet on the grill. Okay, I, 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 we're here to talk sprint car racing, but I, I'm a foodie. I love to cook. Okay, are you? Are, is, is there someone that's helping you? Like, like I'll tell you, if you want some tips, Paul McMahon is a great griller. Uh, if you do the, if you do the hibachi, it's 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 Donny shots and everything. Is there someone helping you, or are you just kind of learning this as you go? Uh, well, in the in the beginning, uh, doing like steaks and stuff. Brad Sweet, he he loves to grill. He grills every day. Um, so he was helping me out. Um, and then, you know, their dad too, Don. Um, but then it's funny you say Paul. Paul was actually by the camp last night while I was you know, making some brat. So he gave me some pointers on that. But um, no, it's like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like I'm a good griller. I, I've, I've probably only grilled like less than eight times still in my life. But um, no, it's, it's been enjoyable. Well, you talk about the pointers on the grill, but where you don't need pointers is on the racetrack. Um, it's been incredible to watch what you've done since January. Um, in and out of a sprint car, whether it's a midget, down in New Zealand, now to, to the 410 Sprint Car World. Kyle, I mean, obviously you have a great race car, awesome crew chief with Paul, but what is really clicking here that is just making you set the world on fire? Yeah, no, it's been, it's been really good. Um, you know, I think, I think just us being able to race a lot more and on a more consistent level um, has really helped our, our team get faster. Um, you know, we've always been good with the 57, but, you know, only racing 20 to 25 times a year, I feel like, you know, we've gotten behind. It's kind of caught up to us up until this point. And, um, you know, now we've been able to race more than anybody in the country. And I think it's helped us, you know, get our car working a lot better than other people's. So, um, you know, Paul Silva is the smartest person I've ever been around. And, you know, you give him, you give him opportunities, you know, night after night to get his car better. Um, it's pretty dangerous. So, um, just been a pleasure to get to race for him. And then I think at the same, the same point, you know, me getting to race a lot more, um, in a sprint car and, and really just a hundred percent focus on this is, has helped me you know, just become more comfortable again. And, you know, I, I feel like, you know, my mind is just really sharp when I'm on the racetrack. And, and so far we've just, you know, been able to make good decisions out there and, and help get us to the lead. Kyle, we've followed your journey. Like I, and I've shared this before. We had you on after you won a trophy cup with a little squeaky voice kid coming onto the show to talk. And we followed your journey as it's gone. And one of the places that in complete honesty, that's been frustrating to you has been Pennsylvania. And of course, then you throw in the central Pennsylvania fans who just, when someone comes in there and struggle, they just clobber you. What has it been like to finally conquer a place that has been been a, a pain in your butt for for years and years. What's it been like to finally conquer, especially a place like Williams Grove? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's it's funny that you know. It, I guess looking back, yeah, I struggled, but but really, I mean, I, I probably ran like five races in Pennsylvania, you know, throughout 2012 and 13, and and yeah, we, we struggled then, but but you know, then I didn't really ever come back, you know, because I didn't race sprint cars as often. Um, you know, up until 2017 and really, you know, so I had those, whatever it was, you know, just a handful of races where I struggled. And then, you know, ever since I came here with Paul, you know, I don't think we've ever finished, you know, worse than, I guess, you know, we ran sixth here at Port Royal, uh, during, or sixth at Lincoln, maybe during the speed week show. Aside from that, I think we've been on the podium or, or top two every single night in Pennsylvania. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's. Yeah, I think I used to just overthink, you know, how different PA was from the rest of the world. And, you know, now after getting to race here more, you know, it's just, they're just other racetracks or it's not too different. And, and to get to race here more often and race against the, you know, competitors and get to learn, you know, their driving styles and their tendencies, I think, you know, helps me make decisions behind them. So um, where PA has always kind of felt like a, 
a different country, more, more different than even going to Australia. So, um, you now get to race here more and learning, learning people and stuff. It's, uh, it, it, it all helped. It helped for sure. That is it. You've been, you've owned the state the last couple of weekends that you've ran there. Hey, we need to step away. Everyone stick with us more with Kyle Larson in just a moment. Power isn't born. It's built over time. For over 65 years, Hercules Tires has been providing the muscle to move more drivers. Whatever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, and we back it with a powerful protection plan. So wherever the road or the trail takes you, we have the selection, value, and strength to get you there. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Welcome back. It is Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit here on MAV TV. Joining us on the Hercules Tire Hotline is Kyle Larson from the Laundromat up in Pennsylvania. Where, where else would where else would a, where the world class racer join us except from the Laundromat? Kyle, the we're, I want to continue the conversation. We talked about the the on track Pennsylvania, the challenges of it. You also shared a couple of years ago that when you go to Pennsylvania, you sold more T-shirts than you did in NASCAR and everything else. The reaction over the last few weeks from the very passionate Pennsylvania Posse fans, what's that been like? Oh, it's been, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, the, I've always said, too, you know, even, even back when they were giving me a hard time when I, when I did struggle here a little bit, that, you know, Pennsylvania fans were the most, you know, dedicated race fans I've ever come across. And um, you're getting to spend, you know, a few weeks here now. It's been, it's been really cool, you know, kind of feel like, yeah, they've, they've taken me in a little bit. Um, you know, during Pennsylvania Speed Week, we stayed at the Jonestown KOA, and, you yeah, know, they, they treated us amazing there. So um, that was a lot of fun. And then you just go into the racetrack, too, you know, and having merchandise here, you know, nightly has been great. You know, um, you know, Caitlin's been extremely busy selling T-shirts in there, and uh, it, it's just been awesome. And, and getting to see a lot of the Pennsylvania fans, you know, wear my stuff. Um, each night has been really cool and, um, you know, seeing the crowd cheer for me and, and, you know, seeing them get excited for Caitlin to shotgun her beers and stuff. It's been, it's all been really fun. So, um, I, I've grown to, grown to love Pennsylvania for sure. Well, I'm pretty sure we've grown to love you as well. Um, Kyle, I really want to kind of dig back into your childhood and kind of where you came into the sprint car deal because watching you this past weekend at the White Kurt, especially Friday night, you guys got guys like Brent Marks and Logan Wagner. Their car was just as good as yours. But to watch you and the momentum that you carry when you time your passes is absolutely incredible. At some point in your life, did you – have a dad that was saying no you need to do this or did you work with a coach or is that really just god-given talent that we're watching uh no i mean i never really i never really you know seeked advice or anything like that when i was you know coming up i mean obviously in go-karts and stuff you know my dad um you know, would give pointers here and there but he never raced either so um you know i you know i, I mean you, you trust everything your dad says, but, uh, you know, when he doesn't race, he doesn't, you know, offer or doesn't, you know, tell you exactly what you need to do. But, um, and I guess when I got into sprint cars, um, you know, David Robinson Jr., who he's crew chief in for Rico right now, um, you know, he, he kind of took me under his wing more than anybody. Um, and, you know, the Allard brothers and, you know, getting to spend time, you race with the Katings, you know, everybody's helped along the way. Um, but I've never had like a, a driver coach or anything like that I've just you know try to work really hard and watch lots of videos and and you know my, it, it, it definitely helps too when I was growing up before there was you know YouTube or anything like that you know my mom you know videotaped every single one of my races every single lap I'd ever run so I could you know watch those and study and and look at things I did good and look at things I could have done better and um you know, grow from that but also you know just being with really good car owners and crew chiefs has is, is helped a lot as well. Kyle Larson joining us here on the program. Kyle, the, 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 the big topic that every time there's a post about you on social media, there's a question about you on social media is uh, game plan for the future and uh, a, a return to NASCAR. I, I, I'm fairly confident that 
there's probably nothing you're going to drop a bombshell on us here today, but where are you at with that? Your desire to do that? Uh, just, just, just update us on where you're at with that conversation. Well, I've been, I've been so busy just racing pretty much every day of the week that I haven't even had time to you know, work on anything, but um, yeah, I would love an opportunity if, if it came. Um, but I, at the same time, I'm also having, you know, a ton of fun right now. So, uh, there's, you know, a lot to weigh and stuff and there's nothing really that's, you know, come up either. So, um, I haven't had to, you know, make too many tough decisions or anything like that, but, um, yeah, definitely if the, if the opportunity was there, I would, I would you know, love to give it a shot, um, to get back and, and prove to, prove to the NASCAR world that, you know, I, I am a, you know, a great race car driver and, and, you know, I know if I got the right opportunity, I could, you know, win a lot of races like I am right now. So, um, you know, but I, I understand, you know, kind of how the world is right now and with the mistake I made that, you know, it's going to be really tough um, to, to get another opportunity. But even if that opportunity comes, you know, it's, it's more than just about your know, race and race at this point. So um, we'll see, but I would definitely, I would definitely love, love the opportunity. But in the meantime, <laughs> we are loving you on the dirt. And I know Braden McMahon tweeted it out, and I'm curious as well. All these trophies that you guys have been stacking up these last few months, where are you guys putting them until you get back home? Yeah, uh, well, I guess, you know, I don't get to – I don't have to worry about it too much just because Paul doesn't let me have any of the trophies. Um <laughs> Last night, last night was cool. You know, we had, they made two trophies, so I got to take one. My sister and Devin, they just started driving home a couple hours ago, so they're taking that one home. Um, but, yeah, Paul, he's, uh, <laughs> he's got them. I don't know. I, I only really see a few in the trailer. But, um, I mean, I guess they're all up top, up in the front. Uh, we don't have a, a big trailer like a lot of these teams do either. So, um, you know, the trophy we won at, at Portsmouth was – seven foot tall so that that one's definitely in the way and it's funny you know every time they got to get up top to get you know another used tire down for us to put on uh they got to take the trophy down and stand it up and it, it looks like we're trying to show it off but it's really just in the way but um it's a good problem to have it's definitely a good problem to have uh you know not knowing we're going to put out all the hardware so um i'm not even sure when paul's going home i think we're still i think his his trailer will be on the road, gosh, at least through November. So hopefully, hopefully we're winning even more trophies and, and he's got to, you know, get, get really good at Tetris. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tetris with trophies. Oh, that's a driver's nightmare right there. Hey, Kyle, we are up against the time limit on this thing, but I do have to ask you, the golf game with Lance Deweese, have you guys been able to go out and golf and how is that going if you have? I haven't I haven't swung a golf club in probably two months. Oh wow! Uh, so yeah, we've we've definitely been focusing a hundred percent on racing. Um, mostly mostly because you know before all this, my golf game wasn't very good, so I haven't been having much fun golfing, anyways. But uh, and then also, you know, when we started this road trip, uh, I got a brand new truck, had my golf clubs in it and all that, and towing it behind the motorhome and the motorhome caught on or sorry the, the truck caught on fire and melted everything down so I lost my golf clubs in the fire but uh yeah so it it what started out as a as a crappy crappy uh trip um has turned into being a lot of fun and, and a lot of success so uh we'll get home and get fitted for some more golf clubs and and hopefully get back out and come through PA and and let Lance beat me on the golf course <laughs> There we go. I'll tell you, it is neat stuff. Kyle, loving the journey that you're on with you, with your family traveling around the country, uh, putting trophies wherever you can put them. Congratulations on the success. I know you got a lot of races coming up and a lot of big ones coming up. We wish you the best, but thanks for joining us as always here on Week Nation. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me on, and hopefully we'll talk to you uh, again soon after some more wins. There we go. Kyle Larson joining us here on Wing Nation. Stay with us. Our Tweet Your Seat Tweets of the Week are coming up next.
performance. We are. We are. We are Team Dryde. Wing Nation presented by Sage Fruit. It is your time of the week. It's time to tweet your seat. And we're kicking it off with none other than William Sproul's seat way. The tweets come from um, Becky, Ray, and Derek. It was the Ollie's Bargain Outlet All-Star Circuit of Champions, the Tommy Hinterschnitz Memorial. Your winner was none other than who we just talked to, Kyle Larson, his second career 410 win at Lance Grove, and he was followed by Anthony Macri and Kerry Madsen. Port Royal Speedway, the Wakert Memorial, Saturday and Sunday night. It was all Kyle Larson all the time over Brett Marks and Anthony Macri on Saturday night over Lance DeWeese and Anthony Macri on Sunday night with the all-star wins at Williams Grove and Port Royal. Kyle Larson had a $30,000 weekend in Pennsylvania. Absolutely incredible. This comes from the fabulous Lincoln Speedway. The tweets come from Bill, Jeff, and Chris. It was the outlaw tune-up, as we like to call it. And Carson Macedo was your winner. Uh, he was driving for Kyle Larson, so all around good uh, good stuff going there for KLR. And uh, he was followed by Logan Schuhart and Ryan Smith. Out West, Ocean Speedway, King of the West. It was, and this tweet is from Mandy. Now, this is, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is dad watching the King of the West series, the birth of Daniel Ryder Genie, I believe it is. So I love that. We've got one right from the hospital. It was the 10th annual Howard Cating Classic, and Kyle Hurst picked up the win. What a, what a great race they had out on the West Coast. You know, we're going to knock out a couple here real quick. Lernerville Speedway, Carl Bowser picked up the win. There is Carl. Tweets from Sabrina and Mark and Carl. If you've ever heard of the Ford FPS Sprint Car Engine, well, if you haven't, you will. It's a collaboration. Sport Performance, Tony Stewart Racing, and Durham Racing Engines. And the future is a goal for an engine that can challenge for victories in series across the country as part of a Ford Performance customer program. Now that sounds like a winner. Stay with us, more Wing Nation in just a moment. Hey Ashley, what are you up to? Oh, I just stopped by to grab some sage fruit apples. Now I just have to decide which ones. You can never go wrong with a Honeycrisp. They're light, crisp, and full of perfectly balanced flavor. Oh, hey. You could always go with one of their classics, the Gala or Fuji. They're both sweet and juicy. Grown in the heart of Eastern Washington, Sage Fruit Company works hard on the farm and with their retail partners to provide high quality apples and pears to consumers all year long. Well, I couldn't decide which ones. Thanks for the help, guys. I'll race you to the checkout. Nation presented by Sage Fruit. Yours truly at the Hercules Tire Studios. Ashley is at the Speed Palace, Port Royal, before heading back here to the North Carolina area. And Ashley, what a what a great conversation with Kyle Larson. Boy, he he just seems like he's at a really good spot. It truly is. You know, I like I said, I got to chat with Caitlin Larson uh, earlier this weekend as well. And even she said, you know, it's it's a di different atmosphere. They love coming to Pennsylvania. They love the PA fans and everything that they stand for in the racetracks that they work with. So it's been absolutely incredible. And Pennsylvania is where all the racing is this weekend up there with the summer nationals going on and all the fun stuff up there. But it won't be long. We'll flip the calendar into August in Knoxville, the 360 nationals, the Sage Fruit Front Row Challenge and the one and only coming up and Ashley also coming up in the month of August, the reopening of Houston Speedway up in South Dakota. So a lot of really neat things happening out in the Midwest and that really gets kicked up in the month of August. Yeah, truly excited to see what Todd's going to do with the place. Um, it's going to be exciting knowing that he's in charge and what's going to happen there. Yes, for sure. It is great, great stuff across the board, and we'll just see how it all plays out. We appreciate Kyle Larson for joining us here on our Hercules Tires Zoom line. But more important than all of that, we thank you for joining us here on Wing Nation, presented by Sage Fruit.